Hey, what's up guys? It's Tristan coming at you with another video. Today I am drawing a fox. This is actually the first drawing I did for my channel. I started recording this in the summer and worked on it off and on. This is a full colored pencil piece, 18 by 24 inches on Bristol board. I started this piece off differently by outlining the lines with colored pencil instead of using ink. I wanted a softer look overall with this one so I didn't want it to have the harsh lines of the ink next to the colored pencil. I really wanted to see how long it would take me to do an 18 by 24 piece in full colored pencil so you know no ink lines, no ink anywhere, just complete colored pencil work on a larger canvas than I'm used to working on ink just colored pencil. It was really just a challenge myself to see, you know, how long would it take? And after I did this piece, it kind of made me start introducing some of, you know, the watercolor that you've seen in my other two pieces on the channel, since they did come after this piece. The watercolor, I'm starting to use that more as a base for coloring on top of, because what you'll see me do in this video is go over everything probably two to three times before I start adding a lot of the detail into it, because you need to get that solid base layer so that the white of the paper isn't showing through. Those trees, I think I went over those trees probably six or seven times. Uh, with different types of browns just so I can get the texture and the color, the exact color that I wanted with them. This illustration was for some friends of mine. Uh, they have a son and their son's room is decorated with different foxes so you know, I wanted to draw one fox for them for their son's room. I got the idea to make the vines wrapping around the tree be blue instead of brown uh, for two reasons. One, I was using so much brown in the piece already that I wanted to find a way to kind of break up uh, doing so much brown at once. And this is for a boys room so I knew I could add some extra blue to the picture as well and it wouldn't, you know, clash with anything else in the room. So I thought that breaking up the brown and adding some different colors in just will make it look a lot more unique and different from uh, what you would find in any other landscape forest picture. colored pencil with my paintbrush I'm using odorless mineral spirits to move the pigment around and make it look a lot more smooth. 
Um, I have to end up doing about at least three good layers before I have the smoothness and the coverage that I want over a white background. What I love about doing drawings like this is that I get to be as creative as I want to be with them. I can go with something realistic, or I can go with something, you know, more surreal or more in a fantasy vein. And with this one, I was able to kind of play with both of those where I think the fox, you know, looks pretty good and fairly accurate to a, a real life fox versus the background where I want to like a very warm yellow for this kind of sunset idea and these blue vines wrapping around the trees just to bring something different and unique into this picture. When I got to the fox, I uh, tried to make sure that my lines were kind of going with the grain of the fur. That way you can kind of give it some texture without having to go over it as many times and something that makes it look a little bit more natural. I really love how the fox came together because it's sitting right in the middle of so much green that having the orange pop against all of the green colors around it, it really makes it stand out well to me. 
Well, that's pretty much the end of the video. You can follow me on my social media at The Artistic Trist. You can view more of my work at tristankhouse.com, and I'll catch you guys next time.